Hey guys, this is Real Level Asher with Shane. And Melody. And today we're at, you can do the honors. Glade Spring, Virginia. Glade Spring, Virginia. Yes. You know what? I really love that shirt that you have on today. Well, thank you. I love the shirt too. You're welcome. That is one of our new shirts. Yes, it absolutely Dank. is. Yes. You see, Dank, it's the old Clinchfield Coal Company. Mm -hmm. And then we've got one just Clinchfield. we got Pocahontas. we got several. we actually got yes. 12 or 14 or 15 styles or something at this point. So. I love my Pocahontas yeah. shirt. I've yeah. got one because I love Pocahontas. And if you haven't seen the Dank video and the Pocahontas video, yeah. we've already done videos on there. So exactly. check those out. They kind of inspired us to do the shirts. Exactly. And we'll we put love a, them. a link if you're looking to buy one of these. Mm -hmm. Now, you can buy the shirt. You can't get a body like this. I don't know. You know, that's only partially genetics. Yes, you partially. can if you eat Wendy's enough. No, I was going to say poor diet, <laughs> low exercise, and stress. <laughs> you to take care of any basic maintenance of your body. You might can look like this. But. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, we're going to get on the road and show you guys some Glade Spring, Virginia. <laughs> but you might have a tooth missing when we come back, or maybe two or three. I don't know. <laughs> Well, if that ain't a gorgeous view, I don't know what is. Yeah. That is a very gorgeous view. I love it. Oddly enough, guess where we're at? The Glade Spring Middle School. You cheated. Didn't you know? No. Yeah. Well, the three dumpsters over here should give it away to run the view, but... I don't think yes. that dumpsters give away that we're at a school. <laughs> well, I guess not. Zing. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. Sun's right in my eyes, and I'm sure theirs too. I know. But I maybe we'll be moving out of here. Well, the good news yeah. is that Look I was sky, though. people to mention that I need to clean my windshield yet again. So well, yeah, that's I'll, true. Gotta bring them out in full force. But look at these clouds, y'all. Ain't that wild? I don't know. It's the strangest pattern. Huh? It really is. It doesn't look natural, although it is. Yeah. Very I'm odd. sure somebody watching this is gonna know exactly what type of cloud that is, that is the, and I'm going to be excited to see it. It's the Hyper Nimbus cloud. <laughs> is it? No, I don't know. No. I just know the word Nimbus. That would be a Hypo Nimbus. Well, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea either. Well, what we got in front of, we're a little goofy tonight because anyway. we're starving to death. Well, let's just be honest here. <laughs> I'm not starving to death. Well, I am. And that's the first community bank in front of us, and I used to work for them, believe it or not. Did you know that? Um, I could have guessed it. I never set foot in that branch, but I used to work for her, based in Bluefield. So. Hmm. There you go. Well, we yeah. learn something new every day. Yeah. I didn't work for the Bank of Marion, which is right there. No, that's the Bank of Glades. Oh, Bank of Glades. Well, wow. that is a branch yeah. of the Bank of Marion. Get it right. You sure you're not grumpy? No. And if you say I am again, then I'll. <laughs> so grumble mail. That nickname might come in handy down the road. Oh, I don't know about that. No grumble mail. Nope. Yeah. Anyhow, so here we are rolling. Glade Spring is just a neat place. I haven't been here all that much. Have you? Um, no, and that's one point I was going to make is it's kind of odd that Glade Spring is so close to where we're from, yeah. and I really didn't know that much about it. So I hope that some of our viewers can fill in some blanks here for us with everything, but... Yeah. We're going to tell you what we found about Glade Spring. Exactly. I hear people say Glade Springs a lot. I swear I was going to mention that earlier, and I never, I, when we were coming down here, I was going to say, I, if I hear it to the point that I get myself confused, yeah. I've heard it so many times the wrong way. I think I usually right. say Glade Springs. Yeah. And I think it's just habit out of hearing it from other people. Yeah. It's just one spring, as far as I know. Spring is sprung. That's what. Yeah. And it is a town. It's not a community. Um, the population estimate for 2019 was around 1,400. Good. So, pretty, pretty decent little size community. It, um, is. it is right off the interstate I 81. You look at that church. That is absolutely That is beautiful. Byers, yeah. Cobbs Memorial, There's United Methodist Church. Beautiful stained glass. There's a lot of pretty um, churches in Glade Spring. Yeah. And if I say Glade Springs, then y'all just look over me because I, I say how people live here call it there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the police station to the okay. left. Tiny place. Yeah, so you better stop at any stop signs, mister. I know. So, I love the the origin of the name Glade Spring. It derives from the Indian word Pasawatami. I think I'm saying that. And that means this is the place. And you're about to get verified that because, I don't know if you noticed <laughs> this, but this mural up here says that. I love that. 
this is the place. And we'll turn down here to get it. How funny. Oh, if I, I had just waited down. like a few more seconds. I, I thought I was, trying to speed up, I was trying to speed up to time it just right. But you got you beat me to the punch here, if you will. So there it is, right there. You can this see it. is the place. This is the place. How funny. Yes. So this was a Native American community. And I'm going to show y'all in a little bit, but they actually ha the native americans did something i never heard of before here in glade spring oh, this area is exciting to hear I'm, i can't wait myself that is the masonic lodge in front of us yeah that's and that's, says that's one of the first things that was established yeah december 13th 1865 so right after the civil war is over mm -hmm. the glade christian academy now so yeah so they had that and like two hotels and um six stores 31 houses in 1875 and 1884 they established Virginia Intermont College here we're familiar with it being in yeah. Bristol yeah. but anyways back to what I was saying Native American tribes did a type of Olympics yes and we'll go into that more at the end of the video so yeah. you hang on there with us because we're going to show you where that was at pretty good size library right there in front of us they do have a good size library that's always good to see yeah and we'll get up here and, and i'm thinking that glade spring i could be wrong but i was thinking that they're only a branch of the washington county library but maybe not okay so it's a branch so yeah yeah it would make me think that it's a branch of something so tavern 13 that is a yeah, brand spanking new restaurant is actually not open yet and yeah. um, then you got happy heifer boutique that looks interesting robin's nest realty sarah jean's eatery um fred c buck building which looks like it is a town square center for the arts very cool and then we have men with a vision ministry and town square medical mm -hmm. the yeah. raw center to the left too missed that one yeah. oh that's part of yeah. men with a vision and there he is, Cerber and Son, Coca-Cola sign. That's neat. Mm -hmm. I love this little town square. It is really cute. It just is adorable. You can tell they've really worked hard to keep this thing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sun's bright as day. I gotta... Oh, man, it is. I'm trying to hit this from a different angle if I can without getting their ticket. There's a senior center here, too. Oh. It's blinding. Do not adjust your TV set. So we thought we'd hop out of the car and give you a little shot of this, a little better division, uh, better look at it. Mm -hmm. so it's a little trouble seeing it in the car. Yeah. Beautiful little town square. It's very unique and seems like that they, they're they trying to build it up. So I love seeing that. Yeah, me too. And there's that town square medical. Mm -hmm. And then we got Cerber and Son, which we found out is a hardware store. Almost. Yeah. Oh, and you missed the red red door spa and boutique. It looks really oh, yeah. cute. Let me zero in on there and make up for that error. Mm-hmm. Give them special attention. Really cute building. That is. I like that a lot. I do too. Very great layout here. Mm-hmm. All right, back on the road, and we're going to show you this downtown as many times as we can, aren't we? Yes, because this is a beautiful downtown. It is. It's one of the prettier ones for this small of a town. Yeah, and bustling too, it seems like. Uh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know if the population was ever that huge here, mm -hmm. but it does look in much better shape than a lot of the coal towns and stuff we go to. Yeah, definitely so. I think that helps where it's along the interstate. Yeah, that helps, but it's also too that it didn't have probably, again, I'm speculating, didn't have that big of a population drop like. Yeah. So I'm going to turn around and show you this little yellow building. I don't know why I just love this thing. I, I know. I love that, too. It looks like a good place to eat. Well, if they had food, we'd be right in there, wouldn't we? Yep. But it's we such sure a neat would. yellow color, and I love it. I know. Yeah, it must have kind of odd hours at these places down in the town square because it's, you know, yeah, not too late. And yeah, it's got a coke sign up there oh, okay they're only open friday and saturday say something harry crawford senior u.s navy world war ii in korea so. yeah hmm. welcome to the glade spring company okay hmm. back on the road mm. well i got some other stuff to tell you well, about sorry, what glade. you got to say for yourself here Oh, that's, another the thing. Today. that's another thing a lot of people say just glide 
Oh, you know, that's right there. And when everybody right. around here knows you're talking about Glade Spring. Yeah, I think that's funny because everybody around here that I know of does call it Glade. A little stone house. I know. I got to see this. I, yeah. Again, somebody's got to tell us the history on this thing. This Very is so cute. Very cute. There yeah. has to be a story about that. Yeah. Please tell us. Yeah, hopefully so. It's The thing with Glade is, is that it's kind of spread out, you know? Yeah. Because there's like cool stuff to see here. And then like on the other side, there's something cool to see. And there's so many old houses yeah so i love that um but anyways yeah the porterfield family arrived to this area in 1760 and they were some of the earliest permanent settlers and of course we are familiar with the porterfield family because the founder of the barter theater yes robert porterfield was yes so his family was among the first settlers in this area um, and the town was originally called Glade Spring Depot to uh, differentiate it from the Glade Spring Presbyterian Church. And that is on what's now US 11. That's, That's a beautiful house right, right there, too. I'd love to know more about that story, too. I love that house. Amazing. Yeah, it's hard to find information online about just houses in particular. Yeah. And I don't. I don't really have any contacts that have deep roots in Glade. That's the thing either for, for you know, for us both to be local and all that, I don't mm -hmm. know many people from here. I know some people that live here, but they weren't from originally from the area. Yeah. So, um. Back to that house, whether you like it or not, I guess. Yeah, very pretty. <laughs> I love this train trestle up here too. It's uh, I do too. It's very interesting. I noticed when we went under it that it dates back to 1922. Very cool. Yeah. So, the uh, the post office was moved from Old Glade to Glade Spring Depot in 1856 because the railroad was established then. And the town was growing pretty rapidly, but then the Civil War slowed that growth down. But the local men made up a military unit called the Glade Spring Rifles. And federal and Confederate troops passed through the town several times and cannon emplacements can still be seen just outside Glade Spring on the road to Saltville. If you haven't seen our Saltville video, you got to go check that out. <laughs> so, um, there's a few buildings that were constructed before the Civil War, but most of the town's growth occurred after that so after there was railroad access and it was a shipping yard for produce livestock everything like that um for around the abingdon area and well abingdon had their own depot and yeah. all that but so we went right back down to downtown square again i feel like in that Twilight Zone episode where this family that's rent this guy runs around he can't get out of it and stays in the same place he's just in a town yeah <laughs> and wherever he goes it ends up right back there that's where I'm was at. there an episode about a girl that just can't seem to get her words out right because I feel like I'm that <laughs> girl which I haven't eaten dinner yet and it's getting kind of late that way. so maybe that's it that might be it yeah so anyways um when the passengers train stopped coming through that area the town slowed back down didn't grow as much as what i guess they originally hoped or thought that it would um but of course the train still comes through the area and the old train tracks that connected to saltville they have been removed and it's now a hiking and biking trail called the salt trail and it's not as popular as um creeper trail no i don't hear as much about it I'll, and i'll tell you why i walked it i walked that thing oh did you uh, yeah i did and um it's the and I, it maybe have changed mm -hmm. i don't think so it's the most poorly marked you can't you could find it with a flashlight you know just i've never seen anything like it huh that uh, is weird i mean yeah a nice trail and have some songs up. and, and the, it's a beautiful house and the trail is well kept and all that stuff but man it's harder than heck to find i passed it up 10 times trying to get to it so huh. yeah well i need to start walking it again i guess but yeah so glade got a lot of attention in 2011 april 28th to be exact um, there was a tornado that hit the Glade Spring area. It seems like it hit along um, 
lot of the houses along the interstate in that kind of area, but three people were killed and 50 others were injured. And I knew people personally that lost their homes and um, working in the hospital, I heard of a lot of people that had had really bad injuries and lasting injuries after that. So it was horrific. Well, and that's what I helped a person that worked for me, work with me. Uh, I went to help clean their house out. They, were, they had a double wide and it got split in half and things yeah. went which way. And it was just, it was amazing the devastation that that thing caused. I mean, it was, oh yeah, it, it, it's, it's terrifying to look at it. Yeah. Man. Right in front of us, well around the bend here, is Patrick Henry High School, home of the Rebels. No, I was doing it for dramatic effect. I was pausing, <laughs> getting people excited, mm -hmm. waiting with what I call that baby breath. Yeah, and so this is the high school that Glade Springers go to. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I guess better viewers do too, to, to some degree. Yeah, I think so. I didn't realize how close it was to Emory because we're like almost right beside Emory at this point. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. by that. Very much surprised. I figured it'd be more closer to the downtown. Glade Spring area, but it is not. So. Yeah, this is a nice high school. Yeah, one of my earliest memories was watching a football game and Marcus Webb, or I think it'd be called him Mark Webb. He was just a beast on the field. He uh, ran all over Richland and ended up yeah. playing for Virginia Tech, but anyway. Very cool. One of the first memories of going to a football game. All right, so also here in Glade Spring is the well known Nickerson Sneed House. And the house, the brick part, was built in 1835 or roundabout, but there was a log house portion that was built in the 1700s. And during this period, it was used as a fort during the Revolutionary War and the French and Indian War. It was built by Francis Ken Cannon. And it was uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, that was the log cabin portion. The brick part was built by Nickerson Sneed and his wife Betsy and it was used as a field hospital during the Civil War and the cellar was used as a morgue. So needless to say it's commonly known as a haunted house in that area and they actually run it as a haunted house during the Halloween season. Interesting. We'll have to check that out won't we? Oh yeah. Right up your alley. Yep. Alrighty, the road sign in front of us says, Brigadier General William E. Grumble Jones, Confederate States of America, is buried in this cemetery here. And this is the Presbyterian Church in Glade. It's the uh, Glade Spring Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. is what it's called. I've He's, passed by here a million times, uh, so I didn't know he was buried well, here. Well, it's a beautiful church. Well, there's a sad story about Grumble Jones. Well, tell us about Let it. Let me start okay. before it goes. His wife is buried here, too. Her name's Eliza Jones. Mm -hmm. So they were married... January of 1852, okay? Well, unfortunately, she drowned March of that year. Mm. And they were, she was on a steamship. A steamship called Independence in Pas Caballo. Caballo, something, Texas. And so she was a shipwreck. She just unfortunately drowns. And so they're newlyweds and he loses his wife. Mm. Well, that brings me to the fact that his nickname is Grumble. He got that name for being very certainly an unpleasant man to deal with. And you'd think it was from he lost his wife. It didn't help anything. His, yeah. Uh, exactly. He must have loved her and probably had a rough impact on his life. So, yeah, I'm sure. I wanted to tell that story. Of course, his life came to a bad end, too. He died, as you saw on the road sign there, at the Battle of Piedmont in 1864. So, I guess the good news is for anybody is she didn't have to grieve his death. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what else to. What other positive you can come out of that? I so. guess it's a good, yeah. good silver lining. I don't know. And their story is buried at the Glade Spring Presbyterian Church just off the interstate. Yeah. We got one more cool story. We're going to head on the interstate to tell you that one. That's right. Okay. So, dead ahead, you'll see a stone marker mm -hmm. that says Fort Kilmacronin. And it kind of talks about there's an old stone house here that goes back to 1776. Mm -hmm. And it was called for to come across. Yeah, this is just off exit 32. Yes. Right? Just off 30, exit 32. Yeah, and so that was a fort 
that um, over like a little Native American town yes. is what they believed. They built it near the yeah, Native American town, yes. And there was a field here in Glade Spring that was supposed to be used by Native Americans as a type of Olympics. Yeah. Was, like a competition that they had that was dancing, socializing, and athletics. How cool is that's that? That's the most awesome thing ever. That, there, I know. I love that. There needs to be more information about this out here. Yeah. And if you won, you got a beaver pelt. Right, anyway, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a big win. I know. I'll go out here. It's and, beautiful country out here, isn't it? Man, it is. I'll relive that, and me and you'll go in a 40 yard dash out here in the field somewhere. <laughs> in their honor. I don't know that I could finish 40 yards at this point. No. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie to everybody. I'm good for 20, though. I'm good for 20. I'm pretty confident about that. So where are you taking us to now, Shane? Well, hopefully we'll see the stone house at some point. Yes. If not, then, well, then y'all will never see this, probably. No. And so I guess it was, like, there. all part of that, but then they built the interstate in the in between it yeah I guess. yeah yeah there's bigger more sprawling areas yeah and i do believe we should be coming up on it here in just a minute that's like you said a nice drive anyway so mm -hmm. this is more a back road cool. this ain't a hauler necessarily yeah just a back, more of a back just road just a what we call a country back road a country back road and, and we need to do a explanation about the difference between haulers and back roads don't we? Yeah, probably so. If you'd like to see a video just on that, yeah, you let us know and we'll tell you. So, here we go. Around the corner, around the bend. Come on around the bend. Come on around the bend. Is that the stone house? That is the stone oh, house. Right look there. at that. Obviously, oh. it appears to be a private residence now. So Yeah, and it built. It looks like they've built onto it several times. It's yeah. the stone, and then it's red brick, and then it's yeah. white siding. Yeah. But very beautiful and unique. We'll get down to cinder block here if they keep going on that. Yeah. <laughs> that is the Fort Camelfroni. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this look at Glade Spring. Yes, good little drive through town. Lots of history. Yeah, very much so. Glade mm -hmm. Spring, right? Not Springs. Glade Spring. Can you do it? Yeah, you did it. Glade Spring. And I am still wearing a Daint shirt, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. And they're still for sale. And you could too, yeah. Yeah. And before we leave, do you have any more insults for me here? You bet out. No. Nothing? No pot shots? Nothing? But I'm not missing any teeth. <laughs> oh. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. You'll have to subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up to help us out. Leave us a comment, your favorite part, and any information that you have about Glade. We would love to hear it. I'm gonna put you as like one of the sassiest people in Appalachia. I feel like I'm in good company. You're a sass Appalachian. A sass Appalachian. That's what new teacher we need to come up with. Sass Appalachian. We'll, we'll work the details out on that. But. <laughs> we'll work <Yeah>. on it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll and see you next time.